What's going on players? Coach Chris here. In this video, we are going to talk about transition defense. But we're going to go over an article by Hoops King. And Hoops King talks about the 10 keys to great transition defense. Now, when does transition this defense happen? A lot of times it happens when your team misses the shot. When your team shoots and misses, Sprint, throw it up, you have it to down. switch to getting back on defense as fast as possible because the other team often on misses run their fast break very effectively. They're able to outlet the ball and then get the ball up the court uh, with another pass to their head man and then Sprint, attack the hoop. And usually other teams can do that within three seconds, three to four seconds, they're already at your hoop. So you don't have a lot of time to get back on defense. So let's look at, let's talk about the 10 keys to great transition defense. Now, the first one they talk about is two players getting back on the shot. So here they have the point guard driving and taking a 10-footer. And the shooting guard and the small forward are in the perimeter. On shot, the first skill you need to recognize is two players need to get back. The two players that are closest to your own basket need to run back. That's their job. When they see the ball is flying towards the rim, they need to sprint towards the center and to turn back and scan the floor in order to get organized. Some of the coaches love to send three players back. I like to send three players back personally. Uh, and, uh, and that's because usually um, there's usually one uh, forward, one, you know, maybe the center or power forward or, or, or maybe the, the shooter who can read their own shot. Uh, but usually one of the rebounders, the ball comes towards their side, and so the other rebounder can get back. Secondly is sprinting. It is very important to beat your players on the way to defense. Beat your players on the way to defense. First three steps are the most important in starting a good transition defense. Being faster in the than the opponent means that you are going to position yourself between the ball and the offense, and you will have a chance to defend. And, there are there and here, we have to emphasize condition and good defensive habits that your players must possess. So again, you'll notice the point guard here is, is dribbling up, and each player... Is, has beating, is beating their position back on defense. You'll see the little slash line that they're in position uh, to prevent passes. We call that pocket. The third thing, get below the ball, okay? So here's the dotted line, the line of the ball. You'll notice the ball itself. They've drawn a double dotted line from sideline to sideline. Every player needs to get below the ball. And below the ball refers to between the, your hoop that you're defending and the ball. So you'll notice here all the players are arrows are running back to uh, stay below the ball. The main goal of good transition defense is that all the players get below the ball. This means that everybody needs to be held accountable in terms of running back on defense each and every time. No matter what... If it's a good or bad matchup, we must try every time to keep defensive composure, to contain the ball. If you want to play our transition defense this particular way, then our players has to be able to do these three things. Run the floor in under four seconds. So that means 94 feet from wall to wall, baseline to baseline. You, gotta, you have to have the skill of running baseline to baseline in four seconds or less. You need to avoid risky steal attempts, so being disciplined not to take risks, especially if there's no help, okay? And then not to try and poke the rebounder. Number four, guard the transition, not your matchup. 
Great point here. Now, a lot of players, especially young players, tend to stick with their player rather than stop ball. And it's an easy way to remember the person with the ball is the biggest threat to scoring on the hoop. Now, if you stop ball, a lot, of, a lot of players go, well, what if he passes it? You're right. What if he passes it? Then that per player now has the ball. Which means if you don't have any help and it's just you, one person versus two, you're trying to stop the ball without getting too close to the ball handler and the ball so that you can be in position that when the ball is passed, you can rotate and stop the pass ball to the other player. So you're essentially developing a skill of guarding two players until your teammates can get back and help you into a two-on-two -two situation or a 3v2 situation. So yes, you have to stop ball, be able to plant and run and stop another pass, especially if it's around the goal, you have to be able to to guard both pl both players at the same time. A good transition defense demands that the players are covered. There is not a universe in which your player is searching for his player and leaving the other player alone running the lane. The goal of good transition defense is to cover all the defensive players and to get everybody on in the half court. Only then... We can think about switching and making good matchups. Number five, two defenders back are in a pair. Three are in a triangle. So here we have three versus two on offense. We have the point guard on defense. That player is up filling his spot inside the paint. And then we have the shooting guard on defense. That player is up under the basket, stops the line of penetration. So if the point guard passes to the small forward, the, the defensive point guard will drop and cover the paint and drop in to help. And the bottom defender will close out and be an on-ball defender there. Here's another example. If the ball is on the wing, the, small, the shooting guard on the bottom is in on-ball. And the point guard that dropped now is in the, in the bottom position has the responsibility of guarding two players. If the pass goes up to the point guard, it's the, the defender is going to take the point guard. If the pass is skipped to the shooting guard, the defender is going to take the shooting guard. And then his teammate would drop and cover two. This is the defensive position when we have just two players who are involved in transition defense. They need to position themselves in a lane. First player needs to contain the ball handler, player leading the break. When the pass goes to one side, player that is under the basket in the center of the paint, the shooting guard needs to run towards the player and to close the penetration lane. The player that was in front needs to come down and fill his spot inside the paint area. The goals, prevent a layup, force mid-range shots, force the offense to make more than two passes. Because if you can get the offense to pass it a couple times, then your team, the other teammates, the other three players can get in and recover. First big protects the rim. Second big helps with the ball. Again, we're in transition. You'll notice here the power forward who's closest to the rim is going to get back and protect the rim. The second big, the center right here, he was recognizing that his his, his buddy, the other big, is has, has rim. So he stops at the circle and is able to come up and double team the ball. Okay, a good transition defense is all about recognizing good opportunities. And we do this a lot, actually. If you look at some of our game film, you'll notice that we, uh, we do a great job at this exact defense. A good transition defense is all about recognizing good opportunities and picking the right spots. If we take a look at our bigs, 
What we need from them is that the first one back needs to protect the rim and to secure the rebounds. So he needs to get the so he need to get to the center of the paint. And the second one can help with the ball. In this diagram, we can see that the center is the second big to get to the defense, but what we can also see is that the man got the rebound and in the majority of situations they are tired to run fast on offense. This leaves time and space for our second big to try and double or just slow down the ball handler. Number seven, stop penetration. Stop penetration. So you do need to be a skilled on-ball defender. Okay, that is a really good skill to acquire as you're getting better at basketball. Here the point guard is defending and shading the ball handler to away from his teammate. Okay, he's funneling him to the corner. Same goes on the right side. Layups are the most efficient shots in this sport. With that said, the conclusion is that the first thing that your team needs to do in order to have a good transition defense is to stop penetration and to force passes and shots. Number eight, shrink the court, pick the spots. This is the upgrade from the previous point. If we are able to take away the penetration, the next level in building up good tra transition defense is to make the other team shoot low percentage shots. If we know that the corner three is the most emphasized shot from, this, from the range, we're going to try to make the other team shoot from the 45 degree spot or from the, from the point. If your organization has the possibility to watch some film and to have some info on the opponents, then you're going to try to take away those sweet spots from them. Here they have a trap for the point guard in the coffin corner. Point guard is going to swing the ball to the center of the court because they're taking away the particular angle that they don't want. You'll notice the small forward is denying the shooting guard from getting a pass down. And the only option they're leaving, okay, they're not trying to take away everything, but you'll notice the power forward in the middle, he's sagging off so that they can give the center the ball at the top. But they're really denying the small forward, is really denying the shooting guard from getting the ball in the corner, right? That's taking away their strength, which is this corner three right here, and allowing them to use their weakness, which is keeping the ball in the middle. Sometimes a fast break can be used as an advantage because a lot of teams are not coached well, so they learn things mechanically and not in a read and react manner. Because everything is happening so fast, if your team plays a good, meaningful defense in transition, there will be opportunities to turn the situation around. Number nine, make them throw at least two passes. More passes on fast break means more time for the defense to consolidate. If we take a look at this picture, we are going to see two passes in three on two situation made from point guard to shooting guard and then shooting guard to small forward. While these two passes took place, power forward had time to get back on defense and help. In real game situations, teams usually have two seconds to score. After that, the defense is assembled and the traditional offensive sets can go to work. Number 10, communicate. Communication is everything in basketball. They used to say the more information the player has, the better can he execute both on offense and defense. Teach your players to talk even when there is no need to talk. Sometimes it can just be cheering, but on the other times, it is the crucial piece of info that is going to make a difference. Some good get back drills that we'll work on one on one, -on -one to five on fives and five on five advantage.